This is all very interesting, Mr. Thorson, but these are things that we call instinct. Yes, and what is instinct? Can science explain it? Well, we're investigating it, and we still don't know. I say that instinct includes clairvoyance and telepathy at work at an animal level. Yes, but that is simply argument. <laughs> now, it's my contention most of these things can be explained. Properly investigated with adequate controls, science can show a perfectly normal logical explanation for almost any of these uh, so-called psychic phenomena. Do you feel that science has been able to determine by what means certain men and women are, are able to consult a forked stick and discover water far underground? You mean a water dowser? Yes. Oh, well, that's a superstition that goes back to the Middle Ages. I believe it's more than a superstition. I believe it's extrasensory perception. Oh. Uh, gentlemen, may I make a suggestion? I'd like to present in person the gentleman who participated in this remarkable phenomenon. Uh, would you care to make any comments on this case? No, I don't think so, except to say I realized that my experience was quite impossible, except for one thing. It actually happened. to one. In still other cases, the odds have risen to the astronomical ratio of one trillion and one quadrillion to one. In laboratories and universities throughout the United States and Europe and South Africa, the research goes on. New light is being shed on the phenomena of telepathy and clairvoyance. The day may be not far distant when science will establish the principles of extrasensory perception and its operation as firmly as the laws which govern nuclear fission. Stop.